Hello everyone and welcome back. In the last video we had discovered Lori and read upon Jake's letter and now we are going to explore this room and see what holds in store. From what I remember, I think there were a few puzzles in this thing. From what I remember. Locked, naturally. So yeah, this is one of them. I think the dolls are behind us, from what I remember. Looks like a dance floor, maybe? Darn, the name of the shoes is so faded, I can't tell what it is. Hmm, maybe Bess and George can help me figure out who made them. <gasps> we can call Bess and George? Okay. So let's go outside to the next car real quick and call them then. Be the projector Jake mentioned in his letter to Ruth. Okay, let's give us a call. Oops. Hello, Jake. Hey, Ruth. Hey, what's going on? Lori gave me a letter that Jake Hurley wrote to his niece telling her how to find his gold mine. Because apparently Jake was too paranoid to tell his niece outright where it was. So he filled the letter with all these weird, obscure clues. I don't think Lori could make heads or tails of them. I know I barely can. Sounds like when he lost his wife, Jake may have lost a few marbles as well. <laughs> I get the definite feeling Lori Gerard has a thing for Tina Balducci. Yep. I saw him on TV once. He is very cute. Lori thinks he's the world's greatest detective. Mm -hmm. Let's just say I'm glad he doesn't work for our police department. <laughs> the only reason he's famous is because he looks good on camera. Well, I think you two are being way too hard on him. Just because he's good looking doesn't mean he can't also be smart. In fact, maybe Balducci tries to look incompetent on purpose. You know, to give the bad guys a false sense of security so it's easier to catch them. Ever think of that? No, Bess, I never did. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I love Bess and George. They're hilarious. The name of the company that made Jake's wife's dancing shoes is too faded to read, but to find Jake's mind, I need to know what it is. Hey, I know what you can do. Take a picture of him with your cell phone, then send it to us, and we'll check them out for you. But I thought you guys had to paint Bess's room. Boring. Besides, we're going to have to take a break soon, because Mom will set a paint, probably because Bess has gotten more on me than she has on the wall. Anyway, send us a picture of the shoes to your cell phone, and we'll get right on it. Oh, you guys are the greatest. Um, uh, I don't think I need I'll it right now. Unless I feel stuck, I won't use a hint. Um, said we can call him. I wonder if we can, um, I wonder if anybody will answer. We could be able to call Nancy's dad. So, uh... I can use this to open that crate I saw in Camille's car. Yep, I can. Is there anything else in here? Uh, I guess not. I wonder if this has something to do with that list of cities Jake mentioned in his letter to Ruth. Okay. So, in the letter, he said...
He said, Calico, Silverado, Central City, Dodge Cities, Virginia City, and Tombstone. Okay. Let's see. So, Calico would be... F hmm. Um. Hmm. I haven't played this game in so long. Oh, I see Calico. So I'm just trying, I'm just going to go in order next to Silverado, I think, yes, yeah, Silverado, Silver, A, D, O, and then next is Central City, I think. Um. Oh, here it is. Um, okay. Next is Dodge City. Next is Virginia City. Wait a minute, I think I did this wrong. There we go. Then finally Tombstone. Oops. Okay. I'm gonna screenshot these letters real quick. Guess I'm done. Strange. All that's left is a jumble of letters. Um. So since we have the thing, let's go to Camille's. Car, I guess. Oh, wait a minute. We can go to, um, let's go talk to Tino. Well, it's the little lady detective. Let's tell everyone what we found Lori. Mean? I found Lori. She was hiding in the caboose. Oh, yeah? She disappeared because she wanted to see who'd find her first, which is why she left that clue behind. That slug? Uh, I mean, I knew that slug was a clue. That's why I gave it to you. I mean, I could have found Lori no sweat, but I thought, hey, why not give somebody else a shot? And you came through. Nice job. Thank you. But look, from now on, if you come across anything that may have something to do with Jay Curley in his mind, well, let me know, okay? But just so I can, you know, give you advice, help you sort things out. After all, the opportunity to work side by side with a world famous police detective doesn't come along every day, you know. How did you and Lori meet? We met at a party in New York. Nice girl. Not a lot of stairs, but nice girl. <laughs> Not a lot of stairs. I wonder if that means her brain or her mind. She seems to have a thing for your eyes. Yeah, she always told me they were. I mean, she told me once that she thought they were very, uh, you know, brown. Uh-huh. What do you think happened to Jake Hurley? He probably died trying to work that mine of his all by himself. But I'll let you in on a secret. I'm onto something that could crack this case wide open. What did you find? Sorry, can't go into detail. Come on, Let's Tino. Just say thanks to yours truly, what happened to Jake Hurley won't be a mystery much longer. Do you think I could take a closer look at that cougar statue? What, that cigar clipper? Go ahead, take a look. I bet 
that I need this stone to build that thing in that diagram I found. But if I remove it now, Tina will know I'm onto something. Okay. I just wanted to get a good look at it, that's all. What else can I do for you? That's it. Thanks for your help. Helping people is what I'm all about. I wonder if I can randomly take this card and... I wonder what Jake used this for. Oh, I guess we have to wait for that. Okay. Oh, this. We can open this now. So it said um, it was orange, blue, green, red, purple, and yellow. So let's do that. Orange. Blue. Green. Oops. Well, I just restarted that. Blue. Green. There we go. Works. Okay, I cannot read this handwriting. I was your friend, Thomas Wilson. Looks like a pattern for some kind of damp stuff. Maybe I better keep this. Right. Okay, um, let's go tell everybody that we found Lori while we wait for Bess and George to tell us the name of the, the shoes. What's up? I found Lori safe and sound in the caboose, so I guess those vibes you got about her being in serious trouble were wrong. Strange. My vibes are never wrong. What's even stranger is I'm still getting them. So maybe they're not about Lori. Maybe they're about you. Me? I'm confused. Are you a scientist or a psychic? I happen to be both. What's commonly referred to as psychic phenomena is all a matter of energy. Just because we don't know where that energy is generated or how to measure it yet doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. Trust me. Either you or Lori is, or soon will be, in big trouble. Okay. Could you be more specific? Unfortunately, no. Well, that's wonderful. I won't keep you any longer. Take care. That tool I saw in the caboose. I bet that's what you use to unscrew these bolts. Okay, since we're in here... Maybe we can unscrew these. Let's see. I'm gonna try and remember to see how this puzzle goes. I can't exactly remember. I think you're supposed to line all these lines up like that. Oh, shoot. There we go. Great, we got pipes to connect. Oh Lord. There we go. Oh. 
Oh, I think there was another one at Tino's. Let's go look. Yes, there is. Okay. More pipes to connect. Yes, Nancy, unfortunately we got more pipes. Yep. Okay, since we're in here, let's go ahead and take this. And... I can't remember if there was one in here or not. Oh. Ruth Kensington. I think there was a gemstone in here, I don't think. go. Let's get this. Let's go tell them that we found Lori. That startled me. Yes, I found Lori. She's in the caboose. You were right. She disappeared because she wanted to see which of us would find her first. And you won. The others on the train, John Gray and that police detective, do you know them very well? I don't know them at all. Needless to say, I don't watch television, so I've never even seen Mr. Gray before. Although I do know that his profession, if you can call it that, is rife with crackpots. <laughs> As for Mr. Balducci, from what I've read, his success in solving those robberies was less a matter of talent and more a matter of being in the right place at precisely the right time. In other words, you don't think he deserves all the attention he's getting? No. You and those two Boy Scouts you're with would make better detectives. Is that all real? Nope. Did you know that Lori wants to be a romance novelist? <sighs> Doesn't everyone? Um, I kind of do, but kind of don't, considering I'm trying to get a career in writing. Do you think she could do it? No. <laughs> could we please talk about something a little more pleasant? Well, then. I'll let you get back to your writing. All right, then. That was funny. Hey, Nancy, what's with the Cheshire Cat grin? You found Lori. Yep. Yep, she's holed up in the caboose. And as a reward for finding her, she let me have this. It's a letter from Jake to his niece in which he leaves clues telling her how to find his mind. Only the clues are extremely obtuse. You found Lori. You got the letter with all the clues. Guess you don't need us anymore. Oh, Joe, quit pouting. Want me help? Are you kidding? You bet I do. Now you're talking. Balducci wants me to share everything I find out about Jake Hurley with him. I'll bet he does. He just doesn't want you to show him up again. Yeah, he wants you to do all the legwork so at the last minute, bam, he can swoop in and grab all the credit. Yep. I wouldn't tell him a thing, Nance, unless it's to get lost. Yeah, I'm not going to spoil it for people, but they're onto something with Tino, yeah. It stands to reason that the only person other than Jake who had to have known the location of Jake's mind was the engineer on Jake's train. Very true. Not necessarily. 
Jake might not have told him the exact location. Maybe he just had him drop him off somewhere nearby. Well, still, we'd be way ahead of the game if we knew where that drop-off point was. If the engineer had any surviving relatives, we may be in luck. The guy died more than 100 years ago. How are we supposed to find out his name? Maybe Charlena What's-Her-Face could tell us how to go about it. Good idea, Frank. I'll ask her. I found a diagram for some kind of contraption that Jake designed, but to operate it, you need his pickaxe and some kind of lamp or lantern, which it looks like he gave to somebody named Yule. Yule? Joe, show her. Show her what? That old picture we found. Uh, okay. We found this on the bookshelf. See? Buell's supplies and pawn shop. That's got to be the same Buell Jake gave his axe and lantern to. Yeah, a hundred years ago. And the guy was a pawnbroker, Frank. The stuff's probably long gone. Or maybe it's still somewhere in Copper Gorge. Maybe. Well, that's where we're headed. So let's just hope for the best. Right. See you soon. You better. So, Lori pushed that button, slid the shelves open further, squeezed through, and disappeared. Very clever. <laughs> she was very clever. More questions. How would I go about finding out the name of Jake's train engineer? If you're smart, you'd ask me. And because my work is going surprisingly well, during my next break, I'll log on to my archives at home and see what I can turn up. That would be great. Thank you. Whoever invented the cellular modem, that's whom you should thank. I'll let you get back to your writing. That would be nice. Oh, let's call Bess and George to see if they have the shoes yet. Hello? Me again. Just checking to see whether you were able to find out the name of those dancing shoes yet. Yay. The witch is our command, but hang on to your hat. The name is a real mouthful. The shoes are made by Chosset Chantayon. Joseph Chateaux. Got it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for letting us help. Gino Balducci definitely has a thing for Lori Gerard. Is there some kind of mutual attraction thing going on between them? Yes. Something's going on between them. I'm not really sure what. We'll find out. I mean, that's a mystery worth pursuing. The heck with this Jake Hurley stuff. You give up the possibility of finding gold for gossip, Beth? For gossip this good? Oh, yeah. <sighs> I better go. And I better go too, and we will do that and more within the next video, so stay tuned. Bye!